is lego dreams finally cooking not saying that they weren't in the past but we got a first look at three new summer sets for the lego dreams theme daniel lewa do you think that lego dreams is cooking up something good from the very beginning last summer when we talked about the first wave of dreams we knew they were onto something pretty crazy and pretty original and this finally confirms that it wasn't just a one-off there is definitely some momentum here so let's get into it smallest to biggest first one and it's weird to say this is the smallest cooper's robot dinosaur c-rex do you see what they did there Initial thoughts at a glance. Wow, this robotic T-Rex has a presence. That's definitely for sure. It reminds me of that one Jurassic World set that actually had a dino mech. And I thought it was so cool because we'd never seen anything like that. That's crazy. The design and the shaping is all really cool and pretty fresh and original. The color scheme, though, I've never been a fan of Cooper's color scheme. It's not quite as garish as MK's ketchup and mustard, but this is kind of like a ketchup and water color scheme. This is a Volcanian. This is a Volcanian EX color scheme. It's a firefighter color scheme. That's a firefighter with some blue color scheme. And I don't love that, but the general design is cool. And I think what we'll see in all of these is that Dreams figures, we thought they were already good. Now they are even better and setting a new standard for what minifigures can deliver. Let's take a look right here. In this set, you have Cooper, Duper, and Zoe, and doughy per evil clone mm. and if you take a look at all of those they're all pretty decked out as far as printing and coloring and different armor pieces a puffer vest new mold and everything like that's that's all really cool some new elements we have here such as the puffer vest which i think looks pretty good granted it kind of leaves your minifigure exposed on the lower right and left hand torso sides which in re a real puffer vest wouldn't but hey what can you do uh, to solve that problem but from the front and back it does look really nice as a puffer vest and it looks like we have a new neck dripping fusion type mold for his evil clone here which is also pretty cool but just look at the leg printing on cooper like this is outrageous full-on detailed side leg printing all around the soles of the shoes just maxed out detail everywhere where in the world we're all thinking it is this sort of treatment for our marvel superheroes and, you know, some people in a Star Wars character. Where is this kind of treatment that is purely safe for collectible minifigure series? I think the, the big theory on that is that that's the how they're going to try to sell this theme. Or And even in Jog, you see a good amount of detail. Not this much, but a good amount because they're trying to sell their original themes. Whereas the Star Wars, Marvel, all of that just sells themselves. And they don't have to be as careful or as meticulous or as detailed. Which seems a little backwards, but... And that's frustrating. But anyways, let's talk about prices and pieces, because this set does come with 917 pieces, and it will retail for around 80 US dollars. I think it's, like, rumored to be $85. Okay, well, we're pushing it, but hey, yeah. seems fair enough if that's true. We do have a new Raven dual-molded piece, which is also kind of cool. Of course, there'll probably be some implications for this vehicle in the TV show, but we're going to pretend that the TV show, if you want to call it that, just doesn't exist, okay? We're purge it out of our minds, and we'll enjoy analyzing these sets. This does utilize the classic dreams feature of being able to rebuild into a different uh, structure, in this case, into a different dinosaur, which is a flying pteranodon. So it's nice to have both a land vehicle, a land creature, and a flying uh, creature. Uh, I just want to reiterate, even if I'm not a huge dreams fan, that's the best feature that that they could have implemented is taking your sets apart and rebuilding it into something new because that is the peak of what lego is all about and that is 10 10 trillion times better than any sort of digital weird app integration great idea we only have this one oh, yeah. picture of the pterodactyl but it looks pretty cool one through ten what are you going to rate the t-rex a six i just do not like the color scheme and it's a little all over the place i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of ten okay i think mm -hmm. they were cooked hard with this moving on to the next biggest we have the never witches midnight raven it looks like corviknight from pokemon took a dip into the crystallized wave of ninjago and came out this lovely dreams set and wow this like from a silhouette standpoint is very striking and let's just hear what daniel leo thinks about this lego set this is what a divine beast from legend of zelda breath of the wild could look like if anyone's played it this looks kind of like va meadow but this let's, is not a zelda uh, set okay let's get that clear <laughs> Okay, it's not, but it is inspiring because of how cool it is. And if anything, it's almost more like a monkey kid set because it's kind of a big demonic creature build. And so it kind of reminds me more of the Demon Bull King or something like that. Does that not give that kind of vibe? Daniel, this is not a monkey kid set and this is not a Legend of Zelda set. <laughs> Get your mind okay. out of fantasy okay. land and back into dreams world. This is <laughs> the Never fantasy. Witch's Midnight Raven. It has okay, a okay. Baba Yaga hut <laughs> integrated on top of this massive nightmare bird. 
Is that not literally awesome? And that's what makes it dreams and not any of the other themes. Again, this set has phenomenal figs. You have Mateo with a really cool new dual molded gold and green sextant looking piece. And then you have uh, Dizzy, the evil Lizzie, and Dogen, the evil Logan, along with the Neverwitch, who is just fantastic. Something really cool to note here is that if you look at the Neverwitch's staff, she has captured the Sandman's Tower from the January Dreams Wave. And even on the back of the Raven, you can see kind of like a small windmill village, kind of like the village set from last year's Dreams Wave. And so maybe hints at some possible storytelling opportunities that you can have where the Neverwitch steals worlds or realms that you have to free. And that's kind of cool. And there's something really like striking about a nice detailed giant monster that feeds into the fans of MonsterVerse things like Mothra, Godzilla. Just cool. It just inspires a lot of creativity. Prices and pieces is 1,203 pieces. And it's estimated to be about $115. Would you buy this Neverwitch Midnight Raven? Definitely really cool. What are you going to give it a 1 out of 10? Give it an 8. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you. 8 out of 10, 100%. Like, and honestly, I don't know what they could have done better, so maybe it deserves a 9. Now, the biggest one that was revealed is Mateo and Z Blob, the Night Battle Mech. Okay, be careful. Don't dip into Nexo Knight's territory. But, wow, visually, this thing is... I just feel like this is my 10-year-old fantasy is popping out at me right here with this massive mech. We already saw a white and lime green mech earlier this year from Maze Dragon Mech. However, I feel like this one has a little bit more personality than the Dragon Mech, even though I'm a huge uh, Monkey Kid fan. This has a little more personality, I think because of all the rounded edges, it's giving more of the Z-Blob energy, a lot more curvy, whereas the Dragon Mech is, is more sleek and, and kind of classical mech. This is really cool, and it's a, a fresh take on a mech, even though we've seen so many mechs before, honestly. Right, and, but the one complaint, I just the main complaint is the choice of weaponry. This is just a little sword and little shield when we reviewed our top 100 mechs of all time there's a lot of swords and all the creative weaponry was used up i guess years ago in exoforce not the greatest weaponry but design wise it looks awesome like a slime has completely been integrated into this mech i like the printing or hopefully printed face that has the minifigure eyes on it it adds personality actually that is interesting bringing that up and that's something that's very cool about a lot of the mateos and zblobs vehicles is that Z-Blob is the vehicle. He's kind of holding the vehicle together. In Monkey Kid, all of MK's vehicles are the staff transformed into the vehicle. So it's like the same exact principle. Let's Here talk we about go the with figures. Monkey. Here we go with Monkey Kid again. No. That's because they're, they're comparable in a lot of ways. That's why. Okay, if you made it this far, comment what's better, Monkey Kid or Dreams? <laughs> Honestly. Minifigures. We now see a evil puffer jacket. Ah, and we see some devishly, evilly good-looking pants on this evil mateo so we got mateo logan mad teo dogan sneak and snivel mateo's shoes are like these crazy white and pink design on what looks like a dual molded leg crazy even mad teo has the same shoe design just like swapped colors very giving, awesome uh, mateo this wave like a back to the future retro puffer vest you know oh. nike mags on or something so that's kind of the vibe they're going for freaking ghostbusters backpack yeah this set one through ten what are you feeling this is an eight as well it's also very very cool yeah i mean for a kid i'll say it was give us a 10 but for as an a me, Matthew, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Would you buy Mateo and Z-Blob the Night Battle Mech for $130? Oh, that's really steep, but it is 1,300 pieces, and you're getting a pretty good fig selection, but whew, still, it's a lot to bite off. We do have a look at the alternate build, which looks more chibi and cute with Z-Blob's chibi mm -hmm. eyes on there. That's a pretty cute alternate build. I mean, I don't know yeah. why you'd prefer that one to the mech, but the other mech, but it's cool to have that as an option and probably include in the instructions. Pretty cool. As you can see, these kids are having a lot of fun and really enjoying it. So I will say, it is funny. Every, okay, many of the LEGO original themes in their second year, they go purple. Of course, Dreams is also kind of purple in the first year. This is still very purple, the villains. The Monkey Kid's second year is the spiders, Spider Queen, very purple. Nexo Knights, you had Jestro and the Rock Monsters, purple and gray. Is this the best yeah. LEGO original theme that we've had in a while? Probably. Is it better than video? Yeah. Is it better than Hidden Side? Yeah. yeah. Is it better than Chima? Probably. Is it better than, you know, you can go on and on and on. I don't think it's uh, up there with the Monkey Kid if you consider that a LEGO original action theme. But those are kind of different demographics. So, LEGO Dreams Summer Sets 
what do you think about these three? I think they really beefed them up. They're really trying to, it's almost like a desperate attempt of, oh no, our theme's failing. We got to hurry and make it as dope as possible. Get all the dopest designers on here. Get the printing team on out here. This theme cannot fail because we pumped too much money into it already. Maybe it seems like that, or maybe this is dope and it's just dope. Dope. So is this a dream come true for Dreams fans, or is this wave also going to be relegated to the clearance bins of Walmarts around the world? Let us know what you think, and we will see you next time on Sakuga Builds.